Hello. I feel like I'm filming an ASMR video, but I'm not. Today I had the urge to film something that's just like more spontaneous. I've really been wanting to make more just kind of like hang out, chill out, sit down content that isn't polished. I mean, not that my normal content is polished, but you know what I'm saying. Just more spontaneous, run of the mill. I had this idea today, so I thought we could just hang out. That's kind of mostly what this channel is all about. So I'm currently wearing some headphones. They are broken, so that is why they look like this. Like it, it's cracked in the middle, but they still work. So I'm just gonna have to deal with whatever this is. But I had the idea today to do some like quizzes, do some trivia with you. I love trivia. I will do anything to answer trivia questions. So I remember that this website exists. I used to be on it in high school all the time. It's called Sporkle. Here it is. It looks like an absolutely messy website and it is, but I don't know if anyone's on this website anymore. I don't know if people are still making quizzes. I'm assuming they are, but I thought we could do, here it is, literature quizzes together. Um, yeah, and just hang out. I just made a coffee with some oat milk. So good. Please grab yourself a snack. I'm probably, I'm about to either embarrass myself or astound you. I'm seeing one of my favorite authors right here. I really want to click on this one. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna start with the fantasy dinner party quiz. Great writers. The description is that this restaurant only serves literary masterpieces. Can you name the great writers gathered at this fantasy dinner party when given their picture and a clue from what they're ordering? Um, okay. I think we're just gonna give it a go. Play quiz. Oh, he has great expectations for whatever you bring him. I mean, that's gotta be Charles Dickens. Oh, there he is. Refusing to wait a hundred years for solid food. Can I put in accents? Oh my god, I can put in accents. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay, next one. He lost his lunch back in Notre Dame, but he's feeling less miserable now. Just some toast. It's gotta be Victor Hugo. I have not, hello? I have not read Les Mis. Oh, I only have two minutes. I should really, she only likes free range birds, none that are caged. That's gotta be Maya Angelou. Small roast pig, a Hamlet, if you will. Shakespeare. If it's August, he's eating light. Otherwise, bring him southern fried anything. Why am I blanking? Oh my god, I don't know. I'm feel dumb. Something garnished with huckleberries. Okay, there's Mark Twain. Tired of the sea, this old man is not ordering fish. Something mysterious would be nice. Perhaps Indian and then there is none. Something mysterious. Something mysterious. Well, I see Agatha Christie right here. Please bring him some nuts, nuts from the underground. It's Fyodor. Oh, do I have to put in, oh God, Dostoevsky. Um, he's not hungry, or she's not hungry. This house is too late and she wants a room of her own to dine in. It's gotta be Miss Wolf. Okay, if he, if it's August, if it's, it's this guy right here, who is that? I don't know who that is. I feel stupid, but I don't know who that is. I, re I don't- it's not Conan Doyle, obviously. Who is that? I'm gonna give up. Uh, William Faulkner. No, I've never read- um, I've never read William Faulkner, and I have no idea what he looks like, and I- I'm sorry, I have no idea. I think- is it late in August or something? Is that the novel? Something like that? Anyway, okay, quiz number one. 91 percent we're doing we're doing okay this is funny this is so funny i would love to go to like a murder mystery party um with everyone here this really reminds me of this um show i guess i'm gonna call it a show on youtube it's called edgar Allan poe's murder mystery dinner party it's put on by this film they, they kind of are a film i don't know production company youtube channel called shipwrecked comedy i love i love edgar Allan poe's murder mystery dinner party it's really funny there's a bunch of episodes and it's basically like edgar Allan poe invites all of his author friends including hemingway dostoevsky it's not obviously historically accurate but dickinson's there mary shelley is there um oscar wilde is there and then the like play the game that they're having of a murder mystery turns into a real murder mystery yeah 
Anyway, okay, let's try another quiz. If I just hit next quiz, this is still literature. Oh, okay, that's okay. Complete the book title. Sense and sensibility. The dogs... War? <laughs> okay. Fried green tomatoes. I didn't know that one. That was also a guess. Okay, The Hound of the Baskervilles by Arthur Conan Doyle. The Lost. Is it The Lost Symbol? I haven't read this. Oh, <gasps> look at me go. To Kill a Mockingbird. How to Win Friends and Influence People. The Girl with the dragon tattoo midnight in the garden of isn't it good and evil i think it's midnight in the garden of good and evil oh my god the andromeda strain murder on the orient express a midsummer night's dream how stella got i don't know this how stella got her groove back that one sounds good okay a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. Do Android stream of electric sheep. Thank you very much. Okay, that one was easy. Let's let's find a one that's actually actually, can I just say, maybe we can like talk about some of these books. Do Android's Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick is fantastic. I need to reread it. I listened to the audiobook a couple years ago, blown away. Just so good. Just so, so good. I would love to read more. And that's the only Philip K. Dick I've read so far, I think. But there's so many on my list from him that I want to read. So if you're looking for like a new sci-fi, that is so cool. It's the book that inspired Blade Runner. And yeah, just so good. I would highly recommend that one. One by one literature? Can you name these literary things where each correct answer will reveal the next image in that category? Okay, I don't know, but let's give it a go. What am I supposed to do? Name these literary things. Oh, can I do Twilight? Oh, I understand. Okay, this is Fault in Our Stars. I loved that book when I read it for the first time. I never finished Divergent, and I didn't like Scythe. Okay, that is um, Stephen King. That is Miss Agatha Christie, Dame Agatha Christie. Oh, I have no idea who that is. I don't really know what a lot of authors look like, I'm not gonna lie. No idea who that is. Okay, that's Anne Frank. That is Nelson Mandela. That is Michelle Obama. That is Gandhi. Poets? I think that's Maya Angelou. That is Edgar Allan Poe. That is Miss Sylvia Plath. And I don't know who he is, but he looks cool. I mean, I'm assuming I know who he is, but I don't know. I don't know what he looks like. I've never seen that man before in my life. Okay, that must be Moby Dick. Mm, Louisa May Alcott. I've never read, never read something by Louisa May Alcott. This is an ugly cover if I've ever seen one. What the hell is that? Is it Little House on the Prairie? Did she write Little House on the Prairie? That's what the cover is giving me. Oh no. I don't know any of these. Louisa May Alcott. What did Louisa May Alcott write? I don't know. Little... Oh shit, she wrote Little Women. Oh, oh that's what Yates looked like? Okay, this quiz has shaken me to my core. We still got above the average score, but this one was rough for me. I did not know. I did not know that is what Roald Dahl looks like. I would have gotten Jane Austen, but that's fine. Yates, though, I did not know that's what young Yates looked like. I've only seen pictures of him as an older man. Um, little Women, that one's the most embarrassing. That one I should have known, but it's okay. I read all of these, and I haven't read- I've only read Great Expectations, but Moby Dick is on my shelf. Who's being written about? Ring wraiths or Dementors? Let's open that one. Classic literature by haiku sounds fun. We have this absolutely goofy one. Can you choose whether the given text was written by Tolkien or Rowling? 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 Okay, let's try. And then blank saw them gliding in a black mass around the lake. Okay, if it's a lake, I feel like it's got to be Prisoner of Azkaban. He spun around the familiar icy cold penetrating his insides. 
I think this is Dementor because Dementors make you feel cold. And if it's familiar, like it, it's, it's, it's seeming like the lake scene in Prisoner of Azkaban. Yeah, okay. It is not in the, oh, this Lupin. It is not in the nature of a Dementor to understand pleading or excuses. I, oh, no, no, no. This is Dumbledore. This is Dumbledore speaking. I therefore warn each and every one of you to give them no reason to harm you. That's also from Prisoner of Azkaban. Okay. At all times, they smell the blood of living things, desiring and hating it. Senses, too, there are other than sight or smell. We can feel their presence. It troubled our hearts as soon as we came here and before we saw them. It's gotta be ringwraiths. Yeah. In dark and loneliness, they are strongest. They will not openly attack a house where there are lights and many people. Not until they are desperate. Their power is in terror, and already some in blank are in their clutch. It's gotta be ring wraiths. No, it could be either. This one could be. This one could be from Order. Of, mm, I'm, I want to say ring wraiths, but I also want to say Dementors. Okay ring race. The black shadow stood close to the point where they had left the path and it swayed from side to side. Blank thought he heard the sound of snuffling. The shadow bent to the ground. I think it's ring race. From inside the hood came a noise as of someone sniffing to catch an elusive scent. The head turned from side to side of the road. This gotta be Lord of the Rings. So black were they that they seemed like black holes in the deep shade behind them. Blank thought that he heard a faint hiss as of venomous breath. Ah, that's gotta be Tolkien. They themselves do not see the world of light as we do, but our shapes cast shadows in their minds, which only the noon sun destroys, and in the dark they perceive many signs and forms that are hidden from us. Ring wraiths. Its face was completely hidden beneath its hood. There was a hand protruding from the cloak, and it was glistening, grayish, slimy looking, and scabbed. I think the slimy looking is giving me Dementor. Okay. The thing beneath the hood, whatever it was, drew a long, slow rattling. Oh, rattling? Dementors rattle. Bl okay. He lay motionless. Wandered into some other unremembered dream. I think it's gotta be ring wraiths. This unremembered dream is very Tolkien. Okay, numbing, swirling white mist was filling. What was he doing? Why was he flying? I think, oh, he's talking about his, it's Harry talking about his mom. That's sad. You'll have no sense of self anymore, no memory, no anything. There's no chance at all of recovery. You'll just exist. I think this is Dementor. I think this is talking about the Dementor's kiss. Okay. Shapeless, they lay now on the ground, torn and tumbled, and a cry. This, is, this passage is just Tolkien. Yeah, I think it's more, I think it's easier to like examine <laughs> two authors' writing styles. There was a mouth, a gaping shapeless hole sucking the air with the sound, uh, the rattle. The rattle is very Dementor. It's like a depression rattlesnake. Suddenly I shivered and felt that something horrible was creeping near. There was a sort of deeper shade among the shadows. I mean, it's gotta be the ring wraiths. Blank saw two more towering... He leaned back into the lumpy seat and closed his eyes until they had passed the gates. I think this is the Dementors guarding the castle. Yeah. As he stared out into the gloom, a black shadow moved under the trees. The gate seemed to open of its own accord and close again without a sound. As he stared out into a gloom, the gate seemed to open. Terror seized him. He shrank back. This sounds like fellowship. Okay. It's what blank do to those they wish to destroy utterly. I suppose there must be some kind of mouth under there. Yeah, soul sucking. It's Dementors. Okay. Are we going to go 20 for 20 on this? There was no happiness in him. The blank's icy fingers were closing on his throat. The high pitched laughter is Voldemort, so it's Dementors. Nice. There's definitely a lot of similarities between these two creatures. I think they're, so, I don't know, they're some of the most fascinating creatures in both of these, both of these series. Um, who do I like better? I don't know. Like, the Dementors are fully not human creatures, where obviously the Ring Wraiths were once men. They were once men. Books set in Canada. Can you choose the correct cover of the book set in Canada when given the name? Uh, yeah, I can. I'm a Cana- oh, shoot. The Stone Angel. I mean, this one has an angel on the cover. <laughs> Oh, Hatchet. Hatchet by Gary Paulson. If there was not one young lad in my elementary school who did not read Hatchet and all of a sudden go through a wilderness survivor phase, 
I'm telling you, it happened to everyone. Never Cry Wolf. I mean, it's got to be the one with the wolf on the cover that's not Jack London. The Blind Assassin. I've actually never heard of that. Elias Grace is Margaret Atwood. <gasps> but I clicked the wrong one. I didn't read the question fully. Okay, The Call of the Wild is Jack London. This one is Lawrence um, Montgomery. The Blue Castle. Ooh, is the Blue Castle referring to an iceberg? <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. White Fang. Do you think White Fang is also by Jack London? Okay. Lives of Girls. That sounds like an Alice Monroe title. The Shipping News is Annie. And then The Blind Assassin. Oh, that's Margaret Atwood? Okay. I'm sorry. I My Canadian status remains intact. Okay. Classic literature by haiku. This one looks overwhelming. Can you name each classic work of literature using only a haiku based on the work's plot? Okay, let's do it. Is this go chronologically? Yes. Okay, here we go. Here's the haiku of the first one. I already know what it is, so we're, we're, off. we're gonna try this one because I know the first novel. I know the first answer. Feeling confident. That's how you're set up for success on a test. Okay, the haiku. Madly vengeful son, treacherous murderous king, to poisoned duel's death. Okay, it's Hamlet, and I just finished reading Hamlet. Sighting in the north, unto tales of misguidance, man made life gone wild. I was gonna be Frankenstein. A miserly man, okay, the, the fact that it's a miserly man, I feel like it's Scrooge. With life lessons to be learned, time for three spirits, is um, a Christmas carol. Solemn moors sit sad from two families tragic, their sickly loves lost. Wuthering Heights, who wrote these? These are nice. Okay, a single leg lost leads to more risked in vengeance on the beast's high seas. Uh, I have no idea. I mean, I'm seeing C's, so is it Moby Dick? Okay, wow. White hairs on nice days spark whimsical wanderings, but are they a dream? It's gotta be Alice in Wonderland. False identities and love-driven name swapping. Pure mayhem ensues, 1895. False identities. Love-driven name swapping love driven name swapping i don't we're gonna skip that one for now okay 1895 as well his future passage reveals two clans yet unseen a new times masters is this um the time machine okay i read that a while ago it was okay it was, it was just okay i didn't really enjoy myself 1897 mysterious man entraps the unsuspecting thirsting in the night Dracula? Okay, cool. In a perfect world, our emotions have no place. Medicate them out. 1932. It could be Huxley. Okay. Okay, we're doing okay. Next one. They fall one by one, each parting the more gruesome. Who's behind it all? I think this has to be um, Agatha Christie um oh shoot what is it called i loved the film the miniseries i loved the book why am i blanking on this and then there were none i had to look at my bookshelf for that one if it's not i'm gonna be upset okay gentleman caller 1944 wish of a struggling mother for her meek daughter a gentleman caller wish of a struggling mother for her meek daughter no, I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, 1950. Magic winter falls behind thick furs and carved doors. A brutal winter. Okay, I feel like I should know this. This is winter. This is my jam. Knowledge is power. That is why it must be burned. Thought control is king. Is it 1984? Oh. Who's burning books? Knowledge is power. Thought control. Is that- oh, right. Fahrenheit. Sorry. Did I even spell Fahrenheit right? Who knows? Okay. 
I haven't read Fahrenheit 451, but whenever anything comes to mind of like thought control, mind control, 1984 is the book that comes to my head. 1954, Imbued Evil Reigns. Oh, Halflings is Lord of the Rings. Nice. Tough regulations threaten rails and steel alike, but business must boom. Who wrote these haikus? I'm impressed. Tough regulations. Business must boom. I think my mind's blanking on that one. Okay, 1959. Financial troubles and interracial tensions lead to dreams deferred. I feel like I really don't read a lot of novels from 1950 to 60. Okay, let's try the next one. Crazies don't fly, but if you want out, you're sane. This sounds like one flew over the cuckoo's nest, which I've never read. Okay. Oh, wait, that wasn't even the one I was reading. If you want out, you're sane. The bell jar? No. Okay, let's try the last one. A poor boy's sweet dream. That five in a million to the sweets he goes. Um, Willy Wonka? Do I have to really end the chocolate factory? Okay. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. It's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, yeah, I haven't read it. I haven't read Charlie and Chocolate. Okay, we have a minute left. Let's focus, everyone. False identities. Same with this gentleman caller, wish of a struggling mother for her meek daughter. Or Magic Winter Falls. Okay, I don't know any of them. Oh, shoot. Okay, so here are the answers. Okay, to be fair, I've read only The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe here. I should have known that. Magic Winter Falls. It is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Okay, The False Identities was the importance of being earnest. Never read that one. I would really like to. I've also never read The Glass Menagerie, and I tried to read Atlas Shrugged in high school, which was a bad idea, um, and I have not ever tried since. I have also not read A Raisin in the Sun, and I have also not read Catch-22. This haiku for Catch-22 is very interesting to me, so maybe I'll check it out. Okay, Shakespeare by numbers. Can you pick each Shakespeare play by three associated numbers? What is this actually asking me? Shipwreck. A pair of twins. I hate- I wish I could just type it. <laughs> Immediately clicks the wrong one. Okay, this one is Merchant of Venice. Forest of Arden. This one is, um, as you like it, Enchanted Island. Hours covered by the play's duration. Moons. Oh. Enchanted Island. Is it The Tempest? Yeah. Donkey. Oh, this is um, Midsummer Night's Dream. A Fool. Plucked out eyes and daughters. That's King Lear. Um, oh, a play within a play. Hamlet. Okay, then we have snake naval battles. Oh, 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 I'm finally understanding how this works. There's one snake in the play, two naval battles, and three suicides. What the hell play has naval battles? Oh, Antony and Cleopatra. One murder of a daughter by the title character, two brothers baked into a pie, and 14 deaths on stage. I think Titus Andronicus? Is Shakespeare's goriest play? Yes. One regicide, three witches, and 23 days for Orson Welles to shoot the Hollywood version. Macbeth. I'm actually reading Macbeth next. So that's um, our second last Shakespeare play for the course. Zero horses available. <laughs> Two nephews murdered and 11 visits by ghosts. It's Richard III my horse for a kingdom okay one assassination 15 days into march and 151 lines the least for a shakespeare title character yes but he doesn't need any more he delivers them all julius caesar one balcony two feuding families and a 13 year old heroine that's romeo and juliet one more two green eyes on a monster and 52 mentions of honesty othello one death of Falstaff, two Falstaff, Falstaff, two countries ultimately linked through marriage and the 100 years war. That's Henry V. So I got, oh, okay. I've never read Comedy of Errors to be fair. Okay. 
that's fun. This was a fun one. I'm currently taking a whole Shakespeare course. I actually, I'm currently in the middle of Measure for Measure. What am I even on? I'm on Act 3 of Measure for Measure, so. And I just finished reading before that a reread of Hamlet, which was just so fun. One, what am I excited about? I, I kind of want to read Titus Andronicus after that, um, after that little number association. That sounds amazing. Can you make the book covers disappear by entering the novel name, the author's name, and the name of the main protagonist? Let's start. Oh, oh, wait, I have to enter three things. Okay, so we have 1984, and we also have Orwell, and I've never read 1984, and I don't know the main character's name. We have, oh my god, Catcher in the Rye with Salinger, and it's Holden, Holden Caulfield. Um, wait, the books disappear. Okay, that counts as disappearing, I guess. Um, this looks like War of the Worlds on the very right. It's not. I don't know these covers. Okay, I see Les Mis, and it's Hugo. Oh, who would be the main character in Les Mis? Jean. Jean Valjean. Um, Moby Dick. Uh, what's his face? Who wrote Moby Dick? Melville. <laughs> it took a second. And it is Captain Ahab. Okay. That is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. And let's say Jem. Jem isn't the main character. Who's the main character? Who's the main character in To Kill a Mo- Oh, Jem's her brother. <gasps> what is her name? Oh no. Jem and- <gasps> Oh, I forget her name. This is so sad. Pip? Oh my God, it's not Pip. To Kill a Mock- Scout. Okay. Um, I know this cover, but it's just absolutely not coming to me. This one looks like the Nutcracker. It's not the Nutcracker. Um, oh, okay, you know what? Maybe if I zoomed in, I would understand that that's not a little girl and her brother. It's Scrooge and Tiny Tim. <laughs> so we have Dickens, um, a Christmas Carol, and what am I supposed to do, Scrooge? Okay, this is Lord of the Flies by Golding. The problem is that I've never read Golding. Uh, I've never read Lord of the Flies. The only Golding I've read is Pinscher Martin. I have no idea who the main character is in Lord of the Flies. No clue. This is Anne Rand's Atlas Shrugged. Absolutely no idea who the main character is. No clue. This is Handmaid's Tale by Atwood. Still haven't read it, but I know it's Offred. Not Ofred, it's Offred. Is it not Offred? I thought the Offred? Orfed? <laughs> I thought the main character's name was Offred. That could be Emma. It could be Pride and Prejudice. Okay, nice. Austin and Elizabeth. Okay. But what is this? What are these? Invisible. In I don't want to say Invisible Man. What is that? He's being abducted. It's giving dystopia. It's giving dystopia, but I don't know what these are. I don't think I've read either of them. Bombs in the background, dystopia. Is it like Bradbury? Maybe one of these is Vonnegut? Let me spell this right. Oh, okay, okay. Mothership or something? D mother's night 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 mother mother night mother night the only other ones i know i've only read cat's cradle no oh billy oh slaughterhouse five. Oh oh clockwork orange and slaughterhouse five okay cool what would i recommend here oh i just didn't spell offered right that would do it <laughs> Winston! I knew it was Winston. 1984. I have on my shelf. I really want to read it soon. Catcher in the Rye is a new favorite this year. Loved Catcher in the Rye. Highly recommend. Devastating. Pride and Prejudice. Yes, I need to reread. Slaughterhouse Five. I need to read. I've never read Slaughterhouse Five. Les Mis. Never read. Moby Dick. Never read. To Kill a Mockingbird in high school. A Clockwork Orange. I started it in high school. I started it in high school and then both like my teacher and my parents took it away from me. So... I'll get back to that someday. A Christmas Carol, yes. Endearing, lovely, timeless. Lord of the Flies, no. Atlas Shrugged, no. And The Handmaid's Tale, no. I've had Handmaid's Tale on my shelf. It's not even here, but 
it's been on my shelf for a really long time so i definitely need to get to handmaid's tale okay let's try reveal a dickens novel can you identify can you identify the hidden charles dickens novel uh what is going on here okay this is so weird what am i doing am i just name that how are you guys doing i have a final exam tomorrow and i'm instead of studying i'm playing games <laughs> i'm playing sporkle quizzes okay let's play taylor swift or little woman sometimes you just don't know the answer it's champagne problems some people seem to get all sunshine and some all shadows it doesn't sound like taylor swift to me okay I'd rather take coffee than compliments just now. Little women? That seems like little women. Ah, cardigan. Okay. If I can't relate to you anymore, then who am I? It's Coney Island, right? The sincere wish to be good is half the battle. Not Taylor Swift's. I'm not like the rest of you. I never made any plans about what I do when I grew up. That doesn't sound like a song lyric. Okay. I am angry nearly every day of my life. That sounds like it's gotta be a novel. Okay. Wasn't it beautiful when you believed in everything and everybody believed in you? That sounds like a Taylor Swift one. Lord, what will become of me once I've lost my novelty? Okay, you know what? That could be either. I feel like it's Man Louisa. No, it's Taylor! <gasps> I'm sorry. One in the bread, I was making my own name. I have an excellent father. His strength is making me stronger. Okay, the fact that it rhymes... Mm, I don't know that I don't know. Ah, it's Taylor. I'm not afraid, but it seems as if I should be homesick for you even in heaven. I got to I got to read little women. Oh my. It's Taylor Swift. Love is a great beautifier. Sounds like little women. Just as the dagger is at his heart, a lovely song is sung under his window. Oh. Oof. May these memories break our fall. Taylor. Because talent isn't genius and no amount of energy. I want to be great or nothing. Holy shit. I guess this is a sign to read Little Women. It's gotta be Taylor. Devil's in the details, but you gotta bend in. Mm -hmm. It's peace. Don't try to make me grow up before my time. I feel like little women. I am lonely sometimes, but I dare say it's good for me. I like good, strong words that mean something. Louisa May Alcott, I'm sorry I've slept on you this whole time. Why did no one ever tell me to read Little Women if it sounds like that? Are you, are you kidding me? Okay, let's do like two or three more. Two or three more, because now I just want to read Little why is it where I think this is called the giving tree? Because it is. <laughs> James Dashner. The maze curse. The maze, <laughs> the maze runner. <laughs> little women. Why didn't no one ever tell me to read Little Women? That sounded amazing. Perks of being a wallflower destroyed me in high school and I've never read it since and I don't want to. Green eggs and ham. Sam I am. Okay, you can't just slap a picture of Dostoevsky's face on a cover and ask me to tell you what, what book this is. I'm just going to start listing them because I don't know. Okay, it's not Crime and Punishment. Could it be The Brothers? Karamazov. Okay, cool. Which I'm currently reading and I'm almost done. Rudyard Kipling. It's got to be The Jungle Book. Oh, Anne of Green Gables. This is a gorgeous cover. What cover is this? I don't know. Stephen King. Let's face it, guys, this could be any Stephen King novel. The Green Trees by Stephen King. <laughs> I don't know. Get, oh, oh my god, the wonderful, the wonderful 100 Years of Solitude. The beautiful cover. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I'm sorry. Oh, those are the only two. I'm going to give up because I honestly don't know and I'm not going to know. How green was my valley? No. What was this one? The girl who loved Tom Gordon. 
I'm just not a Stephen King girl. Okay, so that was my quiz journey time with you guys. That was like kind of fun. This was just fun to like hang out and do silly little quizzes. Thank you for watching. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for chilling out. If you would like any weird videos like these in the future, please let me know. If you want to do more trivia together, we should have a trivia night together. I feel like we should do these on stream or something. Should I set up a Twitch just for trivia? <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing well. Until the next video, ciao.